it's time for my next spinning for socks video. Um, today's update is a little bit different than the last one. So last time it was the Cheviot Mohair Silk Blend. This time it's a hip strings signature blend of 50% South Down Wool, 25% Dorset Horn Wool, and 25% Bio Nylon. So I bought eight ounces. I've got two colors. Um, not one of the cool kids and decommissioned. I thought these two would work well together. I'm not gonna be like spinning two separate yarns. They're gonna be worked together. It's a combo spin type of deal. You'll see what I mean. Anyway, I have never spun South Down or Dorset Horn. I have spun Bio Nylon in one of the Paradise Fibers videos. I have mixed feelings about Bio Nylon mainly because I'm not sure how well it actually biodegrades and whether or not it still releases microplastics. I have not been able to find answers to that yet. Still, it exists. I thought I would give it a shot as a sock yarn type of deal. And these are very beautifully dyed, so I am excited to try these out. Um, it's gonna be the same standard sock yarn that I'm gonna be doing for all of the sock yarn videos. So, two plies Z, one ply S, and then everything plied S as an opposing ply, three ply yarn. So I'm gonna get these set up and we're gonna get started.
Good morning, everyone. So it's the start of a new week. I finished the South Down Dorset Horn Bio Nylon socks. That's a lot for me to remember. <laughs> but anyway, I really like how they came out. So I didn't make the top part very long. I'm gonna put my hand in here so you can see better. So here's the heel, here's the toe. Came out with this really cool marled look. And then I did, it's really hard to see a cable at the top so just the one cable it goes down the center of your ankle or my ankle because these are meant to fit me anyway i really like this yarn it's really got this nice bouncy squishy feel um i would almost call the finished fabric spongy which should be very interesting to wear um let me think else is there to say about it? It's early in the morning for me to be thinking. It was not particularly harsh to work with. I was a little concerned about that. Sometimes with yarns that are not very soft, it almost feels like ropey. All right, so it's not ropey or anything like that. It feels similar to commercially made sock yarns like Croy Sock. Maybe slightly less soft than Croy Sock, because I do know that some some patches of Croy Sock are a little softer. Anyway, it's not unpleasant. I don't think I'll have any trouble wearing it. And I am very curious to see how it holds up. So I'm going to try wearing these to work because um, my work shoes do fit thick socks in them pretty well. And honestly, I need the extra protection because the steel toe part of my work shoes is pretty uncomfortable. So I'm going to wear these to work. I'm going to wash them in the washing machine. Same way I wash all my other knits, even the super wash ones, which is cold water and then air dry. I don't like putting handmade things in the dryer because they kill. So I'm going to get that done and I'll show how these worked out as well as the other two pairs that I've already worn and washed. All right, they've been washed, they've dried. It feels really weird showing my worn socks on camera, but that is kind of the point of the project, so it is what it is. All right, so I did not wear them all the same amount of time. My work schedule is very variable. This pair I wore about 10 hours-ish. This pair about six, this pair about eight. I would have worn them all the same amount of time if I could, but it's really, really random how long my shifts are. So we're gonna start with the first pair I made, the Cheviot Mohair Blend. Now I did notice that they took on some color, or one of the pairs, I think is this pair, from my shoes. Oh well, it is what it is. But I don't know if you can see it. There is some compression in the ball of the foot area, but I would not say that they really felt it at all, more just that the stitches squished a little bit. Uh, I didn't notice any rips in any of the Cheviot blend portions. I didn't notice any missed or lost stitches. And they did not shrink, they still fit. I already tried everything on. So yeah, other than taking on color, which is more my shoes issue, it's, there's no real issue with this. And interestingly, the, the Tunis did really well too. It's a little bit fluffier, but not felted and it didn't shrink. So I'm gonna be experimenting with Tunis more. Next is the Pure Cheviot and then the Tunis. So again, Tunis got a little fluffier, but I didn't notice any felting or ripping or anything along those lines. And as for the Cheviot, it, I, the only th difference I really noticed with the Cheviot is it feels softer, which is not a bad thing by any means. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I didn't see, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's no felting. It is very slightly fuzzier and softer feeling. And that's about it. No real differences there. 
finally, we have the South Down blend. Now, I would not quite say that they're felted, but they are definitely compressed. The area where my, what do you call it, ball of the foot, right here, compressed quite a bit. So there's less definition in the stitches now. They didn't shrink, they still fit. And the heel actually didn't have this issue. So I'm thinking that the only issue here is the stitch I used, because it went single crochet and then I switched to half double crochet for this portion of the foot. And I think I switched to double crochet for this part to make it stretchier. So if I stuck with the single crochet for a few more rows, it might hold up better. So that's something to consider. So you can see on this side what the stitches look like, and then you flip it over and definitely compressed. I do want to try more South Down. I think it is a very interesting choice for socks, and I want to try blending it with some mohair. The other fiber in it, I think, was Norfolk Horn, which does not seem to... If I had to guess between the two, I'm assuming the issue came from the Norfolk Horn rather than the South Down. As for the other fibers, we're going to be trying more Tunis. So we're going to do Tunis in the opposing ply yarn and see if it holds up better than this yarn, which is a four ply cable. So I'm pretty curious about that. I might come back to Cheviot though. I'm really enjoying how they're wearing. So we'll see. I have a lot of socks on my list right now, but we'll get back to that. I hope this data was helpful for some of you. And thank you all for watching.